Are we sinning if we eating shrimp, pork, and crawfish? I am so glad that you asked. Let's go to the book of 1 Timothy chapter 4. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats, which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. So Paul wrote an epistle or a letter to Timothy. And he told Timothy, look at here, look at here. I want you to know this. He said in the latter times, many are going to depart from the faith. And they go start giving heed to these seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. He said, hold on, but I'm going to tell you what they're going to be teaching. What these seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, how they're going to be operating. Paul told Timothy they're going to be speaking lies and hypocrisy. They're going to be forbidding people to marry. And they're going to be commanding that you abstain from meats that God have created to be received with thanksgiving of them that believe and know the truth. He said, for every creature of God is good and not to be refused. He said, if it be received with thanksgiving. He said, for it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. So if anybody telling you that it's a sin to eat pork, to eat crawfish, to eat shrimp, that's a seducing spirit that's speaking through them unto you. Because you know what a lot of people are doing? Like the Pharisees and Sadducees, they're following Moses and they refuse to follow Jesus Christ. See, when Jesus Christ stepped on the scene, the Pharisees and Sadducees hated him because he kept breaking the laws of Moses. So they wanted to kill Jesus Christ. And you got people with that spirit, that Pharisee spirit and them Sadducee spirit today. If you don't follow Moses, they tell you that you are a sinner. The book of Galatians chapter 3 beginning at verse 10. For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, cursed is everyone that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God. It is evident. For the just shall live by faith. And the law is not of faith. But the man that doeth them shall live in them. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Being made a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Paul said people are putting themselves under a curse if they don't obey everything in the law, those who choose to continue to follow the law, they put themselves under a curse if they don't follow everything in the law. Paul said, no man is justified by the law in the sight of God, but the just shall live by faith. He said, Jesus Christ has redeemed us from the law. He redeemed us from that, from that curse and people going back on the bondage because they choosing to follow Moses rather than Jesus. They choosing to follow the law that Jesus has redeemed us from rather than following Jesus. But my question is, if you really keeping the Sabbath day, you really obeying the law, why you ain't stoning people for not keeping the Sabbath day? The law commands you to stone people. 
that ain't keeping the Sabbath. So why you ain't stoning the people? So you ain't obeying the Sabbath day like you supposed to, according to the law. So to my people that's following Jesus, don't put yourself under the curse. Okay? Christ has redeemed us. Follow Jesus. Don't follow Moses. In the book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 16, it is written, Let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of an holy day or of the new moon or of the Sabbath days. Jesus Christ is the Sabbath.